And now for our tractor. As you can see, we've got quite a few balloons. You might as well get comfortable. We're probably going to be here a while. So here we go. We've got a pair of black 160s, each with about a three to four inch tail on the end. I've got a yellow 160, about five inches left on it. A pair of green 160s, each with about four to four and a half inches left. And then a green 260 with about three and a half inches left on it. We're going to start with our green 260. I'm going to twist about a one inch, maybe an inch and a half bubble. Then we're going to make about a half a three quarter inch bubble and make a pinch twist on there. And we're going to come forward about two inches. We're going to make two small pinch twists, so a little less than half an inch for each of these. Like that. Now we're going to come forward about three inches and make another larger pinch twist. Pinch twist. So about a three quarter inch bubble. Make that a pinch twist. Now we're going to go up. This is going to frame out our engine compartment. We're going to go up about an inch and a half. Make a pinch twist. And this one we want to make sure it's kind of soft. Because once we make it, we're going to split it into two. So once you get your pinch twist, just pinch it again into two smaller bubbles. Now you have another bubble about the same size as this one. Another small pinch twist, about a half inch bubble. And again, just like the front one, we're going to split that into two as well. And then we're going to come down back into this double pinch twist with a bubble same size as that. So the front of our tractor is squared off. Pop this excess off. Twist that up in there. And that's going to be the main body of our tractor. Now we're going to take our yellow 160. This is always fun because we're going to make a tulip twist and a 160. If you got fat fingers like me, this is really fun. Poke it down in about to your first knuckle. Reach through the sides of the balloon and grab it, and then there, work your finger back out and secure that. Now I'm going to put two small pinch twists below that to hold that in place, and I'm going to make sure the first pinch twist grabs a knot, so now it's in there, and it won't come undone. There we go. There's our second pinch twist. This is going to be our uh, exhaust pipe or exhaust stack that sticks out the front of the tractor. So make about an inch and a half bubble, and now we're going to twist that into these front, now if we're looking at our tractor, this is the front engine compartment here, which is where the seat's going to be. So we want to come into this front one up here, the very front of the tractor, so twist that into there. And the reason we split that pinch twist is so that smoke stack will now sit up straight. And we're going to come down into our engine compartment. And what you want to do here is we're going to make a little small bubble just far enough to clear that. Make a little half inch bubble just that. Now we're going to make, we want it where it's not just going to come down to the bottom there, so just about an inch, one inch bubble, and then double back up, make another bubble the same size. This is going to be like our little engine up in there. And we're going to make a couple of those to fill this cavity in, so come back just a hair, small little bubble there, and repeat that process, make a little pinch twist, and again, two little bubbles the same size as those. And we should have room for one more set just like that, so come back just a little bit further, make a small bubble, another pinch twist, and then again the same thing, two of those bubbles there. This is going to make the engine of our tractor, simulated anyway. That's going to tuck up inside there, as you can see. Now we're going to come back and, just like we came down from there, we're going to come up to this back one here, make a little small bubble. About three quarters of an inch, just enough to reach back up to there, where that'll come out the top of that. Now we want to try to position this where it's going to stabilize up inside there and sit like that. And there's our engine. Now we're going to take this, come out about three quarters of an inch, and we're going to make two small pinch twists on the end of this. And these will simulate our steering wheel. 
Just like that. Now we're going to pop the excess off because we're done with it. And then secure this loose end up inside those pinch twists. And as you can see, our tractor is beginning to take shape. Now we're going to set that aside for a moment. We're going to take the first of our green 160s. We're going to make our back wheels. We're going to start by making the spokes on one side. So you're going to make about just a little over an inch bubble, an inch and a quarter, no more than an inch and a half. Come back down, make a bubble the same size, and then twist those two together. And then we're going to repeat that three more times to make four of these spokes. So there's your first. Make sure they're about the same size. Two more of them. Spin those together. We have a second spoke. And they'll come undone sometimes. Third one, or the third pair, I should say. Two just like that. Lock those together. And then one more time. Now we're going to come about three quarters of an inch. Take that off, but we want to keep this remainder that we have out here. So keep that and tie it off. And then tie this off to secure it as well. That helps if you hang on to it. That's okay. If you do let that go, there's a remedy to fix that in a moment. So we'll just secure that end up in there. There's one of our rear wheels. Rear spokes, actually. Now we're going to make another. And you want them to be about the same size. So again, just repeat the same process. Making all four spokes. since we lost one of ours, normally what I would have done is I would have had that piece sticking out and would have tied the two ends together, but since I lost that, I'm just going to come across, double that, and attach this one into here. Now we're going to take this excess off, and again we want to keep that because we have to make front wheels as well. And secure that up in there. Now we've got two sets of spokes and an axle in between. We're going to twist the axle, divide it into two, and then come in the back here and lock it into that back. And this is where that ear twist we made there not only made that L shape for the back of our tractor, but it also helps to lock those axles in and keep them sticking out to the side like that. Now we're going to make our front axles, or wheels, I'm sorry, and these are going to be just like the rear, but only smaller. So make a little bitty small, about a half inch bubble, and repeat the process, just like we did before. And I'm going to make four of those as well, four pairs I should say. There's one front wheel. off the excess and this time we're going to try to leave a little axle like we wanted there tie that so there's one and then we'll repeat the process again for the other front wheel and then making four little pairs of passage bubbles locked together send it around to make this post of our front wheel Just like the other one, deflate this excess, making sure to leave your little front axle there. And if you want, instead of tying this one and then tying them, just save a knot by tying them both together. Trim off that excess, and then we're going to take our front axles and go around this front bottom ear twist here. So just and one of them around to lock them in place. And again, use that ear twist to force them to stay out to the side. And now we just need to add wheels and a seat. And we have to move 
the bed every now and then to get back in place. And our track to be ready. So we're going to take one of our black 160s. And what you want to do is you want to start by making two small pinch twists on the ends. Make a small bubble pinch twist, small bubble pinch twist. So you got two pinch twists on the end of it there, or in the beginning of it. Now what you're going to do is you'll take and hold it up against one of your wheels and measure it around to find where you would need to come back. And don't worry if it doesn't look round right away, we'll shape that in a minute. Then you can take it off and just twist that around in there. Just secure it into place. Oops. There we go. And I lost one of my pinch twists, I need to put it back in. Disregard. And now taking our black 160, we're going to start by making a little small bubble and a pinch twist on the end of it, followed by another small bubble and another pinch twist. So we have two pinch twists at the start. Now we're going to take and one of our rear wheels, we're going to make them first, hold it against that, and then you'll want to wrap it around the wheels to see how large your tire is going to need to be. Mark that spot. And then twist that into those two pinch twists there. And we're going to take this excess off, but we want to keep it because we're going to use it for front tires. So I'll be sure and tie that off. Set it aside and then secure this in here. And then these will go on here. And they'll just set around the tires. And if you measured it where it's snug enough, it's going to stay. If you're worried about it popping off, you can always take a couple of glue dots and put on the ends of your spokes here to secure it into place. There's one of our back wheels. Now we're going to take this extra that we have left over. And just like we did our back wheels, we're going to make two small pinch twists here. And then measure one of our front wheels just like we did the back. How far you need to go around there. Twist it into those two pinch twists again. And take the excess. Make sure you secure that in nicely. And then just like we did on our back, put this on one of the front wheels. And again, if you measure it where it's pretty snug, it's going to stay. If you need to, you can always put glue dots on there to hold it. Then we'll repeat our process for the other side. Two pinch twists. Measure. Helps if you hang on to it. I'm just going to lay it there and do it that way. There we go. Twist that in. this off and hang on to it. There's our second back wheel. Now we'll do our other front wheel, same way. Two pinch twists. Again. And now with this one, I have my excess. I want to keep some of that because I want to make a seat for this tractor. So this time I'm going to keep the excess. Let's come back to that in a moment. Secure this and put our other wheel on. Now we're going to take what we have left, and I'm going to make a little fold twist, with about two inches, two and a half inches of balloon. Twist that in. Then I'm going to make a little small pinch twist in front of that. We're going to cut this excess off, and I'm going to go ahead and tie that one to make sure it doesn't come undone. And then we're going to take our seat, and with our bit of nozzle we have left from our 260, just twist that around in there. 
tuck it in. Let me get a little seat for our tractor. Oops, there we go. And there we have our yellow and green tractor.